Hi guys, this is Frank from the BI Forums, and in this Arma 3 video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your mission automatically kick a player from the mission if they try to connect to it with the TPW mods enabled. The reason why you would want this is if you were hosting your mission online and someone tries to connect with TPW mods enabled, it will cause AI to spawn, which will not only disrupt your mission, but also it will cause a gradual loss of FPS and you know just reduce the frames or performance of your server in general overall and even lead up to a server crash so it is highly recommended that you blacklist the TPW mods and this video will show you how to do that so just to demonstrate right now I'm running no mods as you can see loaded mods there are none so now let's preview the mission I'm trying if I were a player trying to connect without TPW mods you would just you know connect as normal no issues not kicked out or anything like that and now let's try to connect with TPW mods enabled. So I'm going to enable CBA and T, uh, TPW mods. Now to show that they're both loaded. And while that's happening, let's go to my documents. And go to Arma 3 other profiles, your Arma 3 profile, your missions or MP missions folder, wherever your mission is located. Find the folder that your mission is located in. And in there, we're going to have an init.sqf file. And in that init.sqf file, we're going to have these two lines right here. This one is important to have as well, but it has nothing to do with this video. This is what we're going to be focusing on. So this line right here is going to be what is searching for the mod that we want to check for before we kick the person, which is TPW mods. And I'll show you how to find the exact class name of the mod in a second. And then this is the command that kicks the player out. So anyway, just to demonstrate, I'm trying to join. If I was a player trying to join the mission and that system was put in place, they would get kicked out immediately, like this. This is all they would see. They would not be able to progress further into the mission, no matter how many times they reconnect, unless they were to get back out and turn off TPW mods. So anyway. Let me show you again. We're looking for this, tpw underscore mods. This is the class name of the mods, the core part of the mod. So how are we going to find that? We're going to go to config viewer, this little gear icon on the top. And we're going to look for CFG patches in this list. If I could fucking find it. I think I'm already in it. <laughs> There you go. CFG patches open up. You basically just have to double click it and it will open up. And we're going to look for TPW mods. There's several other TPW mods uh, files that we could be looking for. But TPW mods right here is the actual core part of the mod. And then once you left click this, just hold and left click, you know, s select this, press Control C, close out, go back into your script, and then you just paste it or you know in the appropriate area which would be right here and you can do this with other mods as well you don't have to it's this is not specific just for TPW mods uh, well for this video it obviously is only searching for TPW mods but if you were to want to search for other mods you could replace this with whatever other mod uh, class name that you're looking for anyway hopefully this video is helpful if you need have any questions at all or need any help let me know and I'll just you know just comment and I'll help you out and if it was help this video was helpful then like it Great. If you didn't like it and it wasn't helpful, then dislike it. I don't really care. But um, yeah, anyway, all the information will be in the description of this video. You just copy and paste the, the script stuff from the init.sqf. Just copy and paste this right into your init.sqf, and that's it. Make sure that this is towards the top of your init.sqf, and that's it. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.